Good evening and welcome to the 100th celebration of Safety Last. I'm Suzanne Lloyd. I'm his granddaughter. Safety Last was shot in 1923 and put together and released in April of 1923. It stars Harold Lloyd and Mildred Davis, my grandmother. It's the two of them together on the screen. And it's really, truly a thrill picture, a picture with a lot of stunts, but with so much heart. It's a romantic comedy, really, of its time and of even times today. She worked with Harold on um, up until Safety Last in 1923, so she started working with him in at the beginning of 19, 1918. I was raised by my grandparents, Mildred and Harold Lloyd, from the time I was born, and I lived with them to the time I was almost 20. They were like my parents. I loved them dearly, and they were very creative. They were so much fun, and they showed me so much of the world. I traveled extensively with them. Thank heavens Harold did my algebra homework or I never would have passed algebra. And he taught me how to drive because my grandmother never did drive. She always had a driver. But there was such a family atmosphere at the house with their son, Harold Jr., and my mother. And it was a very creative atmosphere. They both painted Harold was doing radio shows. He was always involved, so involved with the Shriners Hospitals for um, children. And he was always active. And I can tell you, it was a very giving and fun-loving environment for a child to be brought up in. Green Acres now today is a national historical home. And it was built it started construction and breaking land in 1925. They moved in in October of 1928. It was built for two and a half million dollars at the time. The home was an Italian Renaissance home and it had every type of luxury you can imagine. I mean, Harold built in a handball court. We had an Olympic sized swimming pool. We had a tennis court. There was a magnificent pool, pool room and a ballroom. We had, in my opinion, the best thing a little girl could have was a miniature dollhouse. And it had running water and electricity, a thatched roof, and it was actually made for my mother. So her name is engraved over the, over the front door of the dollhouse that still stands today. Harold was really proud of this. Uh, this is his 1952 Oscar. It was presented to him in March of 53, but he, ex he accepted it. It is a Lifetime Achievement Award Oscar, and it says it's given to him as master comedian and good citizen. And it sat on a pedestal at Green Acres from 1953 to 1972. Uh, as you walked into the library, you always saw it. He was very grateful for it. He was the sixth founding member of the Academy and, and he was number six of the actors branch. And his very dear friend, Doug Fairbanks, was president of the Academy when it was founded. So. Doug was his best friend, so obviously, don't you have to drag your best friend into joining the same academy with sure. you? This is absolutely a wonderful way to get people to come out and see Harold again and see his films. And it's, it's wonderful to do it with live music, and you have Cliff here to play a wonderful composition that he always comes up with that's lively and fun and just fits the mood, and everybody has to have... You'll have a wonderful time and enjoy probably one of the first romantic comedies ever made with a lot of thrills. Uh, Hudson, that was really nice. Did you have to speak up? <laughs> I've never seen this. When you tell people how we filmed it, we had two Labradors 
and a golden retriever sitting at my feet. <laughs> uh, what are you, the, the assistant? Oh. Oliver? Oh. Ollie? 